are here, baby, <laughs> and ready to get into the things of the things. The My wonderful co-host, the Lioness, is here. Good morning, Lioness. Good morning, George Jago. How you feeling this morning? You know I'm good. I'm, I, <laughs> now that I got my right-hand lady in here, I, I feel all right. Yes. Honey. And the woman of the Alva. <laughs> Sharia J, girl, how you doing? How you doing? I'm so good. Oh, my God. Good morning. First, when I tell y'all she look amazing this morning. Oh, thank you. Thank yes, you. Indeed. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So here, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I am fangirling over here. <laughs> I, I, am total, I am totally fangirling right now. Just want you to know. Just, just Aww, want you to know. Thank you. You are an icon. Thank you. You are a fierce lyricist. Uh, your fashion, your style, your charisma is uh, you you create the the next pacing mm -hmm. for what is happening in the mm. industry right now so yeah, i i just i am that. i'm I, you, I, hey i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying <laughs> and y'all heard the music it's bumping in baby baby <laughs> baby 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 yes, so let's you. get on into it miss thing let's start with the final chapter and then go backward okay. can we do that sure so you were on the four yes yeah. And mm. I was and I was big man. <laughs> I know. And you made right? it all the way to the end, right? Yes. Girl, girl. Yes. Look, officially the longest sea holder in the four history. Yes. Wow. Yes. Officially. Yes. <laughs> and and so I was I was I was big man because mm. I was like, okay, why come? Because <laughs> you were bodying, literally bodying people mm. on that stage. Like uh. every time you open the mic, I'm like, why is that person even still standing? They should just walk away in shame right about now. <laughs> that far. So I couldn't understand how you got to the final. Right. And you didn't win. Right. Okay, girl. Now everybody says it's great to be nominated, but how were you feeling <laughs> in that moment? Take, take us there at that moment. Uh, to be honest, okay. Uh, Facts. Everything you're saying is facts. The whole world agreed with you at that moment because the realty is the concept of the four was to whoever can hold their seat the longest and never lose it. And I literally was the only person on the show who had never lost their seat. Mm -hmm. And so the I, it just didn't add up to the yeah. world, to everybody. And to be real... I think I had made a decision early on that when I stepped on that stage, I was going to do my art. I didn't care what people had to say about it. You know, I was already going through a real life battle myself. And so I was just kind of transcending the moment. I wasn't really looking for the W um, technically, but I feel like ultimately I did get a W. I went through so much and came out on the other side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I really just, I leaned into that space opposed to being like upset or feeling any type of way because I personally felt like every time I stepped out on that stage, I did what I came to do. Uh, girl. Girl. <laughs> more, that more. Girl, more. Girl, you, you. You, you literally mm -hmm. ate. Now, what a lot of people didn't know as you kind of alluded to while you were on the stage, while you were battling it out mm. on the mic, you had another battle that you were facing and working working through yep. Let, let's let's give the the uh, listeners a, a little bit of insight on, on what was going on with you sure, in that sure. moment. so right before I got casted for the four I got diagnosed with uh, stage two breast cancer mm. and so I had really right before signed on to go on the four I started like two chemo treatments before that so I already when I went to the initial meeting I lost my hair already but the people knew me for always being creative and trying different things so initially they thought that oh all right Miss Thing you just you're doing something different baldy, right mm -hmm. so, yeah. and so um so they didn't even think anything of it the producers or anything but I remember as they were putting together my story my producer came to me and said Sheree okay look if there's anything else that you would like to add to your story, you know, like, have at it. What else? Are we missing anything? Mm -hmm. And I thought about it for a second because, you know, I'm a really a private person in my real life. And so to make the decision to go out on a national show like that mm -hmm. um, and express, you know, what I was going through, that was a hard thing for me, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. also, too, people have a tendency to, you know, if you're going, if you're sick or you're going through any space, they kind of, you know what I mean? I didn't want any of that sympathy either. I wanted people mm -hmm. to respect me for mm -hmm. my art and my craft. But once I told the producers, they were all shocked. They couldn't even believe it because, you know, I didn't carry myself that way. And, mm -hmm. and a lot of times I wanted to put myself in a healing space mm -hmm. before I got there so that I could get there. Got you know right. what I mean? That and so sense. once I kind of said, yeah, I'm dealing with stage two breast cancer and this is going to be a thing. I'm going to be having chemo treatments while I'm on the show. So initially the show shot in 
LA and so I was living in Atlanta so I would go do my stuff for the show for the week fly back to Atlanta have chemo turn around fly back to LA wow. and then be ready to battle whatever challenge I had to for the next show you know, I, thank you so much for sharing that. Mm -hmm. I feel like we live in a day and time where with this, with the generation that we're in, everybody wants to put forth the best image of themselves, this perfect, uh, you know, unblemished image. And I love that you're, sh you're showing your perseverance and your strength there. I do have a question. Mm -hmm. Now, there are a lot of talented folk right now that watch folks go on these, you know, TV t talent shows. Yeah. And I guess I'm wondering, is everything glitters gold? Like, at the end, of, like, well, when you're on the show, so is how what is it like filming? I mean, as an artist, do you feel like this is like at the end of the day, your opportunity, the opportunities from that show were positive for you? Absolutely, uh, one thousand percent. I always say I walk away, even though I didn't win the four. Right. But I really walked away feeling like it was a gift for me. Mm. Um, <clears throat> for many reasons. One, you're right. What the people see on the television is not. The gotcha gotcha you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. we're going mm -hmm. through intense mm -hmm. grueling things yeah. and then everybody sees the glitz yeah. you know what i mean yeah. and because <clears throat> i always like to say like when your art reflects your life um then you are perfectly aligned with where you're supposed to be and mm. for me to have to get up on that stage battle every night for my spot but then battling every week for my life it really took me to this space that was just beyond what I was actually doing on the stage. It was a it was a me and God walk the whole time. You know so, what I mean? so when you when you took that mic mm -hmm. and you were in those those lyrical battles, mm -hmm. you were really fighting so many things at one time. I'm fighting for my life. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting for my spot. Facts. I'm fighting for this win. Facts. And just to, to be able to do that, that's now looking back at that, you can see you left that all on that stage, yeah. right there on that mic. You're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you know what no I mean? word. Yeah. Factory. Facts. That's That was the name of the game. I had to go all the way. You know what I mean? I had mm. to put all everything on the table, lay it on the line. And that's why I think, ultimately, I wasn't... I wasn't uh, upset because I knew I came and did everything in my power, including beating cancer on the stage. Mm. That was my W. You know what I mean? I couldn't I could not have asked for a bigger win than that. You know what I mean? Because by the time the show was over, I went to remission. My chemo had worked. Everything had, you know what I mean? And so I kind of, I felt in a really good space. And you you looked good. And now, Thank speaking you. of speaking of looks, because I, I, I want to bring this up, because now, <laughs> now, I did a little research. Yeah. I did a little research. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you were on the stage, the looks and the lyrics were bodying. Thank you. I mean, killing. Thank you. Now, a little backstory, ladies and gentlemen, just in case you didn't know. Mm -hmm. This right here, when I say use the word icon, <laughs> She is a member of a certain house, and can you introduce that to the people? Oh, yes. My first house. I was 12 years old, y'all, when I joined the house. Libasia. Yes. yes. <laughs> Come on. Yes. The original yes. house. Don't do it. Libasia, right. <laughs> so when you were on that stage and you were giving us the looks mm -hmm. and, and, and all of it, yes. I was like, okay, baby, that how, baby, I know the house was you know. proud. You know. Were, were they rooting for you? Were they in the in the back? And, and were they were they talking to you and all that good stuff when they saw you on? How was that? So many, yeah. So and not just like Beja, all my boardroom kids was reaching out to me because I had literally been in that scene since I was 12 years old. I mean, sneaking out to balls with my friends when I had no business, walking face and runway 16 years old. So this is really strong roots in this in this culture, you know what I mean? And you absolutely right. I learned a lot from that culture. Mm -hmm. Creativity, the idea of the battle, you know what I mean? Um, how to how are you gonna outperform this person when you go and how are you gonna get your tens? All that stuff. I took with me on that stage. You know what I mean? Wow. Um, these creative looks. How can you know? I used to be the only one saying, "Hey, can I um, can I walk out of my seat? Can I go down to the judges? Can I?" Because I was always thinking of what could help me win this next battle. Wow! Wow! <clears throat> 
We live in a day and time right now where there are people that are saying that LGBT people need to be need to be protected, keep kept away from kids. Mm. That the the idea of people um, introducing their children to parts and the beauty and the nuance of LGBT culture yeah. is problematic. You were a child that was exposed to the culture, right. and that and, and you talk about lovingly about how it impacted you, how it impacted you as a performer. Absolutely. What what say you now in this crazy time that we're in where it seems as if people are demonizing something that is not what they're saying it is. Yeah, you know, I always stand on the side of the LGBTQ community because it was a community that really poured into me when mm. I was a kid because I was always a creative kid and I came up in Jersey City and so uh, shout out to my boo Tim. I hope you are in my live hey, right Tim. now because I love you dad. He actually <laughs> pulled me into the scene like, you know, as a young girl mm. and Mm -hmm. Only thing I can attribute to the community is that it was always a positive impact on me. Mm -hmm. I never have anything negative to really say about that scene, and I support it. And even, you know, with creating the Banji movement, this is... This is a movement that and lingo that I took from being in that scene, you know what I mean? Like, since I was a little girl, they just loved on me, they helped me be creative, and so I always just reciprocate that same energy. Yes. Yeah. Well, I definitely see face. You said you also did runway. I did runway, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Indeed. yes, indeed. We Are You Radio is hip hop. We Are You Radio is R and B. We Are You Radio is dance music. If you're not cutting, you put on the start. Download the We Are You Radio app, available now in your device's store. Listen to weareyouradio.com on the iHeartRadio app. Go to our website, WERU radio.com, the urban sound of pride. <laughs>